Welcome to the Psychology and Physical Training channel, Introduction to Neo-Freudians. Have you ever pondered upon the mysteries of human behavior and how it's influenced by society? As we explore the realm of psychology, we come across a group of thinkers known as the Neo-Freudians. These trailblazers ventured beyond the confines of Sigmund Freud's theories, which largely emphasized biological drives as the primary shapers of human personality. The Neo-Freudians, on the other hand, proposed an alternative viewpoint. They contended that social relationships and cultural influences play a significant role in molding personality. This shift in perspective was not a dismissal of Freud's insights, but rather an expansion that integrated the social aspect of human existence into the understanding of personality. Now when we talk about Neo-Freudians, two names often come to the forefront, Alfred Adler and Eric Fromm. Adler was a close associate of Freud, but he parted ways due to ideological differences. His theory, known as individual psychology, emphasized the importance of societal factors and the individual's strive for perfection. On the other hand, Eric Fromm, a social psychologist and psychoanalyst, proposed that basic human needs extend beyond mere physiological requirements. For him, the need for relatedness, transcendence, and identity were equally crucial. These Neo-Freudians offered a fresh lens to view human behavior, focusing on the social realm rather than biological determinism. They emphasized the importance of interpersonal relationships, cultural context, and individuals' unique experiences in shaping personality. Their theories, while grounded in Freud's psychoanalytical principles, extended the scope of psychology to include the societal and cultural dimensions of human life. This shift from the individual to the social, from the biological to the cultural, marked a significant turning point in the field of psychology. It paved the way for a more holistic understanding of human behavior and personality. Now that we've set the stage, it's time to dive into the fascinating world of Adler's individual psychology. Prepare yourself for an insightful journey into the depths of human nature, where society meets the self and culture shapes character. An overview. Imagine a psychology that focuses on the individual, not as an isolated being, but as a social creature. Intriguing, isn't it? Welcome to the world of Alfred Adler, a Neo-Freudian, whose theories shook up the field of psychology in the early 20th century. Adler's theories, collectively known as individual psychology, revolved around the idea that each individual is unique and that this uniqueness is shaped by their social context. Adler's first major concept is the striving for superiority. He believed that all people have an innate drive to overcome their inherent feelings of inferiority. This drive propels us towards self-improvement and helps us to reach our potential. It's not about being superior to others, but about becoming the best version of oneself. Then there's the concept of social interest. Adler posited that we are all social creatures and our mental health is deeply connected to our ability to connect with others. Social interest, according to Adler, is an innate potential that needs to be nurtured. It's our ability to empathize, to cooperate, and to contribute to the welfare of others. It's about feeling at home in the world and having a sense of belonging. Adler's third major concept is lifestyle. This refers to the unique way that each person perceives, thinks about, and interacts with the world. Adler believed that our lifestyle is shaped by our early childhood experiences and it is through this lens that we interpret all of our future experiences. Our lifestyle then becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy as we unconsciously seek out situations that confirm our preconceived ideas about ourselves and the world. In essence, Adler's individual psychology suggests that we are not merely products of our past, but creators of our own futures. Our personalities are not fixed, but fluid, constantly shaped by our interpretations of our experiences and our relationships with others. Adler's theories have certainly given us much to ponder. Now let's shift our focus to another influential Neo-Freudian, Eric Fromm. Major concepts. What if our personality, our very being, is shaped by our basic human needs? This question serves as a cornerstone in the work of one of the most influential Neo-Freudians, Eric Fromm. Fromm was a social psychologist, psychoanalyst, and philosopher who developed a framework of concepts that fundamentally changed our understanding of human personality. 
One of Fromm's major contributions to psychology was the identification of five basic human needs. These are relatedness, transcendence, rootedness, a sense of identity, and a frame of orientation. Fromm believed that these needs are not just desires or wants, but fundamental necessities that influence our personality and behavior. Let's delve a bit deeper. Relatedness refers to our need to connect with other people, to love and be loved. Transcendence, on the other hand, is our drive to go beyond our animalistic existence, to create and innovate. Rootedness is the need for a sense of belonging, to feel at home in the world. We also have a need for a sense of identity, to recognize ourselves as unique individuals. Lastly, we need a frame of orientation, a way to understand the world around us and our place in it. Fromm proposed that these needs, while universal, can be met in different ways depending on our social and cultural context. This is where he diverged from Freud. While Freud focused on the individual's internal world, Fromm emphasized the impact of society and culture on our psychological development. According to Fromm, if these basic needs are not met, it can lead to feelings of isolation, confusion, and despair. But when they are fulfilled, we can achieve a sense of security and identity, leading to a healthy personality and positive social relationships. In essence, Fromm's concept suggests that our personality is not just a result of our internal processes, but also a reflection of our interactions with the world around us. We are not solitary beings, but social creatures, shaped by our experiences and the fulfillment of our basic human needs. Fromm's concepts give us a new perspective on understanding human personality, but what are these basic human needs he talked about? Fromm's basic human needs. Do you know what drives you? What are the basic human needs that shape your personality? Let's delve into the mind of Eric Fromm, a neo-Freudian psychologist who proposed five basic human needs that he believed shape our personalities and behaviors. First off, we have the need for relatedness. This speaks to our desire to connect with others, to love and feel loved. Fromm believed that productive and positive relationships are essential for mental health and well-being. Next is transcendence. According to Fromm, humans aren't just passive entities. We strive to transcend our existence by creating or destroying. We see this need fulfilled in various ways, from the artist painting a masterpiece to the entrepreneur building a business. The third need is rootedness, the desire for a sense of belonging and security. This need drives us to form a home, build relationships, and establish a sense of identity. Then there's the need for a sense of identity, the fourth basic human need. This is our desire to understand who we are and our place in the world. Fromm argued that we fulfill this need through our experiences and interactions with the world around us. Lastly, we have the need for a frame of orientation. This refers to our desire for a stable, predictable framework that helps us make sense of the world. It's why we seek out belief systems, structures, and patterns. Fromm's belief is that these needs are not hierarchical, but rather they are interrelated and equally important. Our personalities and behaviors are shaped by how we strive to meet these needs and the ways in which we balance them. But remember, Fromm's theory is just one perspective. Different psychologists have proposed various theories about what drives human behavior, and it's important to consider these different perspectives when trying to understand the complexities of human nature. Understanding these basic human needs gives us a glimpse into the complex machinery of human personality. So next time you wonder why you do what you do, consider Fromm's five basic human needs. Who knows? You might just discover something new about yourself. The impact of Neo-Freudians. So how have these Neo-Freudian theories influenced our understanding of human personality and behavior, you might ask? Well, let's take a quick recap. We've explored the social analysts, Adler's unique approach to individual psychology, and Fromm's focus on basic human needs. Each of these theories has deeply impacted the field of psychology. They've expanded Freud's focus on the individual and unconscious mind to a broader perspective that considers social and cultural factors. By doing so, they've given us a more nuanced understanding of human nature. No longer are we just products of our unconscious desires, but also of our social interactions and the culture we live in. These theories have helped us to appreciate the importance of our relationships, the influence of society, and the impact of cultural norms on our personalities. As we delve deeper into the complexities of human behavior, 
The theories of neo-Freudians continue to illuminate our path, offering a more holistic view of personality. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and follow the Psychology and Physical Training channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.